Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Maisha Shanta. I'm back at it again with another YouTube video. If this is your first time, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. But if you're returning, you already know you're an OG. You are officially part of the family. What's good? What's popping? Also, also turn on those post notifications so you'll stay up to date whenever I post. Like my videos, comment on my videos so it help me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, subscribe to my um, nursing school channel, Mine's Nursing Chronicles, and lastly, follow me on my personal Instagram at Maisha Chantel. All that information will be in the description below, so you guys, you know, you don't got to do too much work. So today, well, I'm doing another week in the life of a nursing student. This is my third week of nursing school, and I feel like I've been in nursing school for like damn near a year already. It's just been a lot overwhelming just because it's new material. Um, so you guys liked in my other, my first week of um, nursing school, so I decided to do another week in the life of a nursing student, but this week we have our first exam in fundamentals, so uh, you guys will be seeing me doing a lot of studying, doing a lot of other stuff because we have checkoffs next week, a physical assessment, so I just have to, and a pharmacology exam as well. So I just have a lot of stuff to do this week and next week, but this week is just going to be a lot going on. Um, today is Monday. Everything is just dropping. Everything is going off. What the hell? Today is Monday. It's 7.01 in the morning right here. Um, I'm actually, I don't have class until Wednesday, but... Today is Open Lab, and Open Lab is from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And so, just gonna go in there, practice the physical assessment because that's our first check off. Okay, could you verify the uh, month, time, well, month, day, and year, and then also verify where you're at? So I'm in the next, right here, um, how many years you're going to be late, so I'm just going to be late. All right, thank you for that. So um, I'm going to be completing a physical assessment on you today, and but first I'm going to check your, start off by checking your vitals. I'm going to check your pulse, your um, blood pressure, temperature, and your respiration. Okay, so let's. body physical assessment and it looks like looks so cute really official you know when you have your stethoscope on real deal official I need to get a case because it's still in this box <laughs> I keep it in a box but yeah we just went over the physical assessment the upper body um the upper body physical assessment is the longest okay guys so it's it's 123 um I'm currently just doing some prep you 
that we have to do is basically like online busy work and it's like miniature quizzes you can set up from 5 10 20 it doesn't matter because we have to get to our mastery level four and i'm on mastery level two but y'all look at this i got nine out of ten questions right why didn't it bump me up to master level four and so this is um this is what i mean by it's like busy work I mean, it's helpful, but at the same time, it's just like extra work for real. And nobody knows how to beat the algorithm because you can get 10 out of 10, 20 out of 20, and still not get to master level four after the first quiz. Like most of the time, you're taking like at least five quizzes right now. So this is my layout. I'm in my bed. I have, um, oh gosh, my coffee. So... I'm going to go over there to my desk sooner or later, but right now I'm just going to be in my bed doing it. So this is how lazy I've been. I only did my schedule for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I have a complete to-do list that I need to get done. Like for this week, have, you know, some assignments, and then we're going to do their life stuff. And now I'm just about to study some like well I'm looking at chapter eight communication um it's not that much information I have to know for this have my lofi music going on well it's on pause right now but this is the music I listen to when I'm studying and right now but yeah so I hope you guys are liking this video so go ahead to my orthodontist appointment that I have in downtown Atlanta today at 9 a.m. And after that, I'm just going to come back home and just study for my test tomorrow. But I'm, I'm so tired. I know y'all can see it in my eye. But yeah, I'm just about to go ahead to my appointment. Y'all, look. My tire is flat. What the fuck? Wow. I woke up. I was supposed to go to my orthodontist appointment at 9 o'clock. It is 9.07. When I get to my car, my tire is flat. And I was just like, what the hell? And so they had to patch my tire up. Good thing, like, they said the third was good, so they didn't have to replace the tire. But I called. I was like, I'm not going to make my appointment today because I can't. And so they rescheduled me for another appointment. So I'm getting me some coffee from Duncan with two shots of espresso because I needed to, today is one of those Dunkin Donuts coffee type of days but let me go ahead and order get ready and order me some um Dunkin Donuts <laughs> medium sized iced coffee with cream and sugar and a shot of espresso please that no that'd be all Thank you for so I'm in my living room and I'm studying the ooh, physical assessment this is just some of 
what we have to go over. This is maybe from your from the introduction to the whisper test, which is your ears. And I haven't even written down the chest or abdominal steps, but this is what I need to do to pass my physical assessment check off kind of stressed out it is a lot of information that we have to remember for the physical assessment along with making sure we have um yeah my brain is so foggy making sure we know the material for our test tomorrow for fundamentals and then i forgot that we have our first pharmacology test next wednesday as well so while we're doing a pharmacology test we're doing checkoffs too it's just a lot like they're putting so much stress on us and everybody's feeling the stress and so but it's okay because I knew what I was signing up for nobody said the road would be easy at all but let me get back to studying okay guys so I just got finished studying um for about four hours straight I did take like a maybe a 10 15 minute break every two hours but now it is 9 24 at night, I, I am out getting food because the only thing I ate was breakfast and then some snacks in between. I never did eat at dinner, so I'm over here being a horrible person by eating so late at night and then it's fast food. But it's okay because I deserve it. Um, I'm giving it to myself. I got my exam tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock and um, I'm just going to go in there with confidence because I prepared for this exam. She gave us what to focus on. And I feel very, very confident. I'll probably start back studying from 11 and then I'll probably either study from 11 to 12 or from 11 to 1 a.m. I'm not staying up all night studying the day before the exam because I'm planning to wake up at 5 a.m. to study an hour, well, like two hours before the exam just because we have to be there at 8 I think this is my food. No, it's, it's not my food. But we have, the exam is at 8, and it's probably like a 30 minutes since it's not going to be traffic. So I probably have to leave my house at like 7, 15 at the latest. But Okay, so it's midnight, and I think I'm going to study for one more hour. Instead of looking at my notebook, I have um, the Quizlet on my iPad, one of my classmates she actually created a quizlet so i'm just going to be studying off of my ipad for about another hour but you can just tell like i'm tired just like my eyes are just like so so puffy so done but it's okay because it's going to pay off tomorrow It's Wednesday morning. I've been up since 5 a.m. I did not record me studying when I got up, but been up since 5. I did my studying. I'm done with my morning routine. I'm about to go to well, leave my apartment to head to campus because I'm stopping by Dunkin' because one of those mornings again. I need me some coffee, but we have our first exam. Today at 8 a.m. I'm super excited. I feel very confident, but you know, it is what it is. Like I already accepted the fact. If I didn't know the material by last night, it, you know, there's nothing that I could do. 
months but now i'm just about to leave my apartment because i want to make sure i'm on time so i'll see you guys probably after i take the exam honestly heading to dunkin donuts after my first exam of nursing school because i am tired and i am sleepy because i've been up since five only got roughly three or four hours of sleep last night but let me just tell y'all how i think my okay guys so just to give you an update about my exam i took my first exam for nursing school for fundamentals 1101 at eight o'clock this morning it is 8 57 um they gave us an hour it was a 40 minute i mean 40 question exam all multiple choice and overall i think i did well on it i'm hoping i got an a but if I didn't, as long as I got over that 85%, because that's um, that was my goal, of course, trying to get a high B, but I was really trying to push for an A. There were a couple of questions that had me second guess myself, but I went into the test with the mentality, Maisha, you know, you prepare for this test, don't second guess yourself, you know the information. Um, and so that kind of helped me a lot. And also it just like, I'm just like very confident that I did well on this first exam because it's going to set the tone for the rest of the semester. And yeah, it was, oh, the got Chick-fil-A and coffee for these damn near eight hours that I'm going to be in class. Okay guys, so I just got back home from my long day of class and tests and other shit. And I just got me some wings and fries because I didn't feel like cooking. And mm, bustin'. I told these people extra crispy. Do this look like extra crispy to you? And regular. When it's extra crispy, it let me know it's really done. You feel me? But, um, yeah, I just got back from a long day. I'm tired. Um, <clears throat> a little hot. Hey, babes, it is thursday um it's i want to say almost 11 o'clock i've been up since seven i was doing uber so didn't need to record that and i actually have lab today from it was supposed to be one to four but it's actually 12 to three so i'm getting ready to go to lab and y'all we found out the most ghetto is news um last night like at nine at night time so listen here <laughs> so our clinical well no our lab instructor for is this the right, this the right one? yes our lab instructor for fundamentals i don't know if she got fired or she quit whatever basically she sent an email saying her last day will be next week and so, <laughs> all of us were like, what the hell? We were not expecting that. She's been with the school, I want to say, maybe three years, going on four. And then in the email, she said her son got COVID. Well, no, not her son. There was a positive case um, at her son's school for COVID. And so, um, 
were just like, what the hell is going on? And y'all probably like, uh, Maisha, why are you putting on, um, concealer? Because our school doesn't care if we wear a mask or not. They're not requiring everybody to wear a mask. And the nursing program, they abide by the rules of the school. They was just like, if you want to, you can wear a mask. You don't have to. And so, but I wear my mask. Um, it's up for at clinicals. I mean, it's up for a lab because it's just too much going on. And my face look beat right now. My eyes are like hella baggy have bags under my eyes so gotta cover the tiredness up we gotta look somewhat decent you feel me but that's just yeah, i'm just gonna put a little concealer on that's it so i'm about to um eat me some breakfast drink me some coffee and then head to campus I'm about to head um, back home. Okay, so now I'm just about to study for my physical assessment. You guys have heard over and over in this video that I have to do a check out for my physical assessment. And so this is the rubric um, that they're going to be grading this on. I don't know if y'all can really see, but it's, let's see. Yeah. It's 14 pages of information that we have to go over, that we have to cover. It's um, head to toe. They give us an hour to do it. We do have a note card, a 5x7, that we're able to use. But they said that if we use it too much, we're going to get an unsatisfactory in that part of the assessment. So it's only really for use it when you need to. But yes, so in lab we already had covered the upper and lower body, so they expect us to know um, the upper and lower body for checkoffs on Thursday. And this entire weekend, I, I actually have three volunteers, three of my friends. I'm going to be doing a physical assessment on them um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then I'm gonna meet with my lab partner on Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday and then we have our physical check off on Thursday I'm going first so kind of pressure you know no pressure at all I just have a big rant for you guys I'm just starting to realize how stressed out I am like I'm super stressed to the point where I'm on the floor doing this so I'm so sleepy just want to go to sleep but I can't because we have work to be done. There's always work needed to be do, done. <sighs> My brain is just not here anymore. <laughs> not here at all. I, not here. It's like almost midnight. And I gotta be up at eight for open lab. Now I have to be up at six. So I have to be there at eight. This is crazy. Hey babes, it is Friday. Welcome, welcome back to the week of week in the life of a nursing student. It is I mean what 
I don't know what time it is. Let me see. It is 9.06 in the morning. Um, I decided not to go to Open Lab. But good thing that I decided not to go because apparently I didn't sign up for Open Lab today from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And so if you don't sign up for the time slot, you can't technically go. And so it just worked out in my favor because honestly, I'm tired. I Ubered from 7 to 9 this morning. And so I technically don't supposed to start my day according to my schedule until 1 p.m. But I'm just about to study for the physical assessment um, some more. And then I'm going to start studying for fundamentals around like 12. So they give me like three hours just to get down the physical assessment. But that scared the hell out of me. But I am so exhausted. Like I'm so tired. But we got to get to it. We got to get to it. So since I am a little tired and I kind of don't feel good, I'm just going to, instead of drinking coffee today, I'm just going to start off with um, my Immuno, Immune Max. It's just to help to support the immune system. Because you know when you're tired, um, it's vitamin C. And then I have, what's this? Basically a pineapple mango energy. I'm just gonna use a little bit whole thing in there I'm just gonna add a little bit of um, The energy in there Just a tad You know, stir it up Gotta start off with the vitamin C So I'm just going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed my weekend in life of a nursing student. Um, if you guys would like to see more videos like this, just make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Comment below what was your favorite part. You know, comment some encouraging, ooh, encouraging words as well. And just... Yeah, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope to see you guys next time.